If Tropical Island dreams seem unrealistic, you just have to make them become a reality. Trust me, it's not too hard at all. It's been a few hours, and Lily and Jane can't share their air mattress. It seems like they are really getting into it. With a high-speed chase and a crazy water battle. On board! And neither girl will give up. It's no surprise that the air mattress didn't survive. Now Lily and Jane are stranded on the beach. And it's so crowded and noisy. It would be so nice to be on a tropical island. No one around. Only the white sand and the sound of the waves. For Lily and Jane, no goal is unattainable. Can't get that island off your mind? You just have to make one yourself. Time to get to work. The girls have everything they need to build the base of their tiny island. Some styrofoam and boards. Now we can start. Spread out the longest boards first. Four or five should work. Now put the other boards across them. When you need to strengthen the structure, you'll need screws and a screwdriver. Yay! The platform is ready! Lily and Jane left a hole in the middle of the frame. They'll need that later. Time for some styrofoam. It will keep the micro aisle afloat. You'll need some special mounts and long self-tapping screws. Drill each piece of styrofoam into the wood in each corner. The raft should be closed like this. Except, of course, for the gap. Well done! The hard part is over! Jane and Lily want the island to look as natural as possible. You need something to cover up the styrofoam. A thin cork cover should do the trick. It looks just like sand. Fasten it to the frame with construction foam. A good tropical island needs a lot of plants. It's a must! Use some green artificial grass. You can secure them to the styrofoam with nails. A beautiful nature oasis in the middle of the ocean! This island could really use a cute bungalow. It will make things much cozier. The girls start with a frame. The right parts like these. Carefully cut holes in the styrofoam. And secure the bamboo bases. them on top. Seal the walls with reeds. Perfect! A great shelter from the wind and it's cute too! Now they just need to throw a blanket inside. A tiny beach bungalow is ready! What if the mini island was like a little park? Jane is really considering it. She covers the space with some greenery. And a nice fence will really tie everything together. Stick the pegs into the styrofoam around the perimeter. There you go! A great lawn for sunbathing. Every island needs sand. Just get some from the local beach. 
This should be enough. All you have to do is transport it. Time to launch the little island. Just some final touches are left. These little flags will make for cute decor. And a few plants certainly won't hurt. The more color, the better. And on these soft cushions, you can kick back and watch the stars. So the sand came in handy. Let's fill the little island with it. And this nice beach umbrella will protect us from the sun. It's so useful. Well, it's time. Off to see we go. So that's why the friends made this mini pool in the middle of the island. They can fish there. They don't even need fishing poles. You can use a net in shallow water. All you have to do is wait for the perfect moment. Jane, what a great catch. Even grown-ups like to build sand castles. And, of course, they have plenty of sand. And lots of time. Looks like they are gonna make a serious castle. And at noon, they can kick back under the umbrella. Lily and Jane plan for everything. They even brought fruit with them. Everything about their island is pleasant. These coconuts can easily make delicious cocktails. Tasty and refreshing. And what's a tropical island without pineapples? This dream island has plenty of room. You can relax in a shady bungalow. Or walk on the sand and admire the sea. And sunbathe out on the lawn, too. Your friend can fan you if you get too hot. And if you want to freshen up, just splash in the mini pool. No more fighting over a little air mattress. And if you still want more, you can go on an adventure. I mean, seriously, you can't go to a tropical island without going diving. The girls will get some beautiful shells for their efforts. But the real magic begins after sunset. The friends decided to decorate their island with lots of lights and candles. It looks so pretty! The island is so bright and colorful! And the stars look so close! Now they can treat themselves to some hot chocolate and have a little party! Take a million cool photos, of course! Lily and Jane made a real paradise up there! Did you like this video about a personal mini island? What would you build on yours? Let us know in the comments! Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are new! Click on the bell so you don't miss all the great videos on Trim Trim Wow!